Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 12, Estimating Digits in a Quotient. So, classwork, we're going to discuss this first. It says divide 150 by 30. So the first thing we're going to do is, how can we represent this problem using division notation? So first of all, we want to write it as division notation. So instead of saying divide 150 by 30, you would say 150 divided by 30. Okay. Using the place values of 10, how can we represent this problem in a different way? Okay, we could say this was since these both end with zero, we could say this is 15 tens. 15 times 10 is 150, divided by 3 tens. Okay? And if we cancel the tens, then we're really just doing 15 divided by 3. And 15 divided by 3 is... And what we really did, instead of using the words tens, we could also do this. 150 divided by 30. And we could divide by 10, which would cancel out the zeros, showing it that way, and get the same thing. represent this using division algorithm as well. So 150 divided by 30 could also be done this way. 150 divided by 30. And 330 goes into 150. 5 times 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract. Now, exercises one through five, it says round to estimate the quotient. Then, compute the quotient using a calculator and compare the estimation to the quotient. 2,970 divided by 11. Round to a one digit arithmetic fact and then estimate the quotient. So what they mean is we're going to write this as quotient 11, and we're going to divide 2,970, okay? And now we want to estimate, so we want to get it down to 10, so I'm going to round this 11 to 10, let me give, give myself more space, and I want to divide that same, this thing, this is 2,970 is really close to 3,000. So we're just doing an estimate. So we divide 10, we go into 30 three times. And then we just have zeros left over. So it's zero, zero, so it's three. Okay, so this is our estimate. We estimated three. Okay. Now we're going to use a calculator. Okay, so here's our calculator. And we're going to divide. Let's see. Two, nine, seven, zero. Divided by 11. Okay, and we got 207. So then we could write here 2,970 divided by 11 equals 207. Okay, so that's what we got in our calculator. 207. The quotient is very close to the estimate. 270 is pretty close to 300. Okay? Use a 
character there in that shit. Okay? That's me. Number two. Round to a one digit arithmetic fact, estimate the quotient, and then use the calculator. I'll pause the video, try it, and come back. Okay? Now that you've had an opportunity to do this problem, I'm going to round 12 to the nearest 10. And I'm going to round 4,752 to the nearest 1,000. 7 is more than 5, so that's going to become 5,000. If I divide 5,000 by 10, it's just moving the decimal one place, and it's going to be 5. That's my estimate. My estimate's 500. Now, if I truly do it, it's going to be 4,752 divided by 12 equals... And if we use our calculator, four thousand seven fifty two divided by twelve, we get three hundred and ninety six. Okay, three ninety six is close to five hundred, and that is our actual answer. Number three, same thing. Pause the video. Try it. Okay, so let's check it. 19 is close to 20. Eleven thousand six forty-seven six is more than 5, which will make this 1 a 2, so it's 12,000. 2 goes into 12 six times. 6 times 2 is 1, 2, 0. And then we're just going to end up with these zeros. So we get an estimate of 6,000. Now we're going to use a calculator to find 11,647 divided by 19. Okay. 11,647 divided by 19. Enter. 613. Okay, what happened here? What's wrong with our estimate? 12,000, I forgot my 20 here. One zero will take away one zero here. So we went out too far. This 12,000 and this 20, you could have canceled in the first place and done 1,200 divided by 2. Okay, so I've made a mistake in the estimate. Our estimate should have been 600. So if you get an answer, and it's not the same number of digits as your estimate, either your estimate was wrong or this answer was wrong, so you need to check. Obviously, the calculator did it correctly, and I made the mistake in my estimate. So many of you probably were saying it's not 6,000, it's 600 before I did the calculator, and right, that's true. Okay, number four. 40,644 divided by 18. Round to one digit arithmetic fact, estimate the quotient. Okay? 18 is really close to 20. Rounding to 10. 40,600. Remember, we're counting, we're getting, is 40,600 close to 40,000 or 50,000? We want tens, hundreds, thousands. We don't want 40,000 or 41,000. We're rounding to 10,000 here. And that's close to 40,000. Okay, let's not make that same estimate mistake. I'm going to ignore this zero, so therefore ignore one of these zeros. Two goes into four two times, and then just copy these zeros. This is the remainder. Okay, so my estimate is 2,000. Use a calculator. 40,644 divided by 18. I got 2,258. Check that. 2,258. Okay, so 2,258 is close to 2,000. Okay. Try it one more time. Let's example five. Pause the video, try it, and then come back. Okay, now that you've had a chance to do this, 
rounding to the nearest 50,000 or 10,000 is 50,000. We're dividing it by our nearest 15 gets rounded up to 20. Okay. So now we're going to estimate the quotient. Remember, ignore this zero and ignore that last zero. Two goes into five, two times. Two times two is four, minus one point four is one. Bring down the zero. Five, five times two is 10. And I get a remainder of zero. So just add those two zeros back. Okay. So my estimate is 2,000. Okay, I wanted to think about this for a second because as I did it, something came to mind and I am going to change this. So follow along and I'll explain when I do it. Okay, when we're dealing with a 15, and I want to take a moment to do this. So if this is 15, and this is 20, and this is 10. How far is it to go this way? We have to go back this far. We have to go this way. We have to go to the right side. That's the same distance either way. So if we're at a 15, we're at the midpoint, we can either round down or round up. So what I would suggest you do is, if you have to round this up, round this down. If you round this down, round this up. Round one one way and the other the other way are more accurate. So if I make this 50,000, I rounded it up, okay? So if I rounded this up, I want to round that down, and it's a 15, we are in the middle, we have this option. So I want to round the 15 down to 10, and if I do that and I put my zeros, then I get 5,000. Okay, or if I decide to round, let me change colors. If I decide to round the 49,170 down to 40,000, and I'm doing this only because this 15 can get rounded up to 20, I don't want to round them both up because then my estimates off by too much. Okay, ignore the zeros. Two goes into four two times. And we have three zeros left. Okay? One estimate is 5,000. The other estimate is 2,000. Okay, so our estimates are way off, but that is one way we can make estimate. Now we're going to use a calculator of 49,170 divided by 15. 49,170 divided by 15. I got 3,270. Okay, so it's closer to this estimate, so it would have been better to, obviously, because this is, we rounded this down 9,000 and rounded this up 5. We rounded it up 830, and this down 5, so obviously this estimate's going to be closer. Okay. Remember, estimates are really just telling us how close we are to our actual answer. Do we have the right number of digits? Okay. Example three. Estimate and apply a division algorithm to evaluate the expression. So estimate first. 918 is really close to 1,000. 27 is close to 30. Okay. Alright. No mistake there. We want hundreds, so I'm round, I rounded the wrong direction. 18 is less than a half, which is 950. I want to round down. Okay. Okay, 
ignore that zero because there's a zero there. So now really we're dividing 90 divided by three and we get 30. So this is an estimate. We can conclude that a good estimate for the quotient, 918 divided by 27 is 30. So that's our estimate. Now we're going to do the actual 918 divided by 27. 27 goes into 91 three times. 7 times 3 is 24. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And I subtract. We get 10. 27 will not go into 10, so I bring down the 8. 27 goes into 10 four times. Okay. 27 goes into 100 four times. 7 times 4 is 28. Okay. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And... So the answer is 34. Our estimate was 30. We are very close. That is the end of lesson 12. Try the exit ticket and then go to your problem solving.